Okay, so uh, I've been doing, as a lot of you probably know, I've been doing a fair bit of work upstairs, and I do some filming up there, uh, some news stuff up there, if there's kind of cool things like firmware releases or camera news or whatever. I have a little mic up there, but it's always kind of in the way. It's kind of down here on the desk, which doesn't necessarily have as much room on it as I'd still like. And of course my wife's always, cause she uses that desk too. She w wants it to be able to be out of the way when she's not using it. You've probably seen some Mayono gear on the channel. Today we're taking a look at their new low profile microphone arm. This is the BA92. And uh, I think this is gonna be what I'm gonna use upstairs. We're gonna test it here just to see how it, how it kind of mounts. And uh, I think I think it'll be a winner. So I have a lot of the scissor arms, you know, the, the standard kind of the ones that have like springs in them and all kinds of things. They work okay, but I find a lot of times if you're moving or you bang the desk or whatever, you get some of that spring sound. They kind of go, go that little, you know what I'm talking about, that little boing. It just makes a sound if for whatever reason you touch it or you move it, the springs are stretching back and forth. Those are usually what you kind of get in a lot of kits that are like inexpensive. So I, I didn't I didn't want that. So this is the, well, I have it down here, but this is the Miyono here, uh, as you can see. It looks like a nicer kit uh, as far as, as an arm goes, it has some elevation. Now I don't need it to go high by any means, but as you can see, I think it's like a, a 20, they say like a 20 degree down and a 70 degree up, something like that. Four times the stability, super cool. Uh, does it say here? Yeah, so you, you do have that ability to really spring it up. So it says up to 70 degrees upwards and down to 25 degrees downwards, I guess. So we should have lots, lots of ability to adjust this, which is really nice. And of course, uh, you can you can mount all kinds of microphones on here. It really doesn't matter as long as it has the standard mounting screw, because that's what you have. You have either the 5 8 or the 3 8 inch thread. And those are pretty much the two that most microphones have. So I have a microphone over here. Of course, I'm not going to set it up here because that's not going to be its its end location. And I have I have a mic with setup here that works. But this is this is the box that it came in. Yes, big advertisement, right? Mayono. I have not opened it, so we're just gonna crack it open, and then you get a nicer box inside. That's that's the box there, right? Look at that. That's nice, Mayono. You know, it looks... I don't know if this is even a new one. BA90? Oh, that's a BA92. This is the BA90. I'll have to look it up. Think the BA... Let's change that. BA90. Does it have a BA90? Because the BA90's got these rounded edges on it. I actually like the looks of that. Now, I did go on Mayono's website as you can see here, and this is this is the one that they said that they were sending me. I'm seeing that that may not be completely true. I don't know. Let's uh let's do a search, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? All right. So this they this is it, the BA90. So there is a BA90 and a BA92. Is this one different? It doesn't. It definitely looks like it has a different kind of mounting, so that. You can really kind of get it down for, actually, I think I like this one better. Other arms, there's that kind of like spring arm style versus this arm. Oh, I'm curious here. This one, this one looks like it, well, it could be, it could be cool. It could be cool, right? A little different. There is a video here, so I may have to look at it possibly just to, just to see, but let's, let's crack open the box and uh, see what we can find. Now it does look like a, it's similar in price for sure. But anyways, a BA90 made of aluminum alloy compatible with all shock mounts. Squeak free. That's that's important. Squeak free, right? Hey, look, that was me on the video. Did you see that? That was me on the video. 2.2 pounds rated. Features uh, aluminum alloy, easy to attach, internal tension springs. So it does have internal tension springs, but they do say it's squeak free. So we'll find out. Three adjustable joints, hidden trunking, hidden trunking. I'm not even sure what that means, hidden trunking. Mute mute knob, compatible with professional microphones, all shock mounts, 
squeak free. Let's let's see what this is about. So this is getting opened down here. It looks like it's pretty much pre-set up, whereas the other one, the 92, is one that you kind of have to not say put together, but you kind of slide it together. So there's the BA90 little little manual, kind of shows you everything. But I do like the fact that it looks like you guys can see it here, yeah? It looks it's it's all kind of together which I like. I'm not sure what this is. That, oh, that's that must be the clamp that it goes onto on the table. You guys see that? Right? That's fancy. And he spins. Yeah. And this widens so that it's it goes down so that you get more space to mount it here or over here or wherever you're mounting it. And then this, well, I like the fact that I don't have to put anything together. That's kind of exciting. And then we have little little clamps and a little really large screw so there's the really large screw you guys can see it and then these are the clamps i'm guessing somehow somewhere this has a little thing on it okay let's just i don't think there's anything i don't think there's anything else oh i like that it even looks professional so let's pretend what does it say it says you have oh so you have a couple different ways that you can mount it so i think this you can mount with the clap, the clap, the clamp, like this thing, or you can possibly drill a hole. So if you wanted, you could put these, drill a hole through your desk if you didn't want to put it on with this. And then, cause it, see how it sees here with this hole drilling? Okay, but what if I don't want to hole drill? I don't want a hole drill. So I'm gonna put this down here and I'm gonna mount this over on the edge here. So you guys, it's it may be out of shot, but I'm just gonna take this and spin it. See, you just, I'll, I'll show you here, right? It's kind of nice, actually. These pieces all kind of come apart, I'm guessing, depending on what you need. But really, you just put it there, and then you spin, and it, it locks on. That's nice. That's super easy. It's nice and big. You don't have these weird big clampy things. I'm gonna just put that right there because I think that's fantastic. I like that a lot. And then this, as you can see, I'm guessing you can put this however you want, right? You just wanna make sure that it goes that way. All right, that's going in there. Oh, oh I like, that's tall. My goodness. Yes, and then this, you can bring it down and then there's little tightening switches here. But it is, there's springs in there. You can feel it, right? Up and down. But you can get it where you kind of want it, I guess. And then just snug it up so that it's there. Same thing with the bottom one. The bottom has tension depending on how you need it, right? And you can angle that down. That's actually really nice because if I had it up just a little, even a little bit higher, and that angled right down, you could almost put a mic right above you, out of shot, and I, and I don't know, can you guys, when I crop in enough, can you see the arm? Because I'm, I usually crop in on my fo my footage a little bit. You may not even be able to see this arm, right? Because it's it's here. And then I think, possibly, what happens is, uh, if I'm correct, you can, I'm pretty sure, let's just see. Yeah, so on the top, you guys see on the top here, there is a spot, you can run your cable through the back of this. So it doesn't go in. Now in the BA92, you can actually remove the piece and the cable goes inside it. But that's not the case here. So let's pretend I do have a mic. It is a Miono mic, so... They should be they should be pleased that I'm showing it with one of their mics. I'm gonna unplug it so it's easier to easier to hook up. And I am using the three eighths, I guess it is. Because of the way this is, you know, I could just angle it kind of down a little bit. Just make sure that you have the right side facing the right way. Tighten that how you want it. And even this, I could bring up and have it like over to the side, like so. I like I like that. I like that looks looks very radio broadcasty. Yeah? Radio broadcasty. And then, like I said, you take this piece and all you have to do is there are these lines in there. Yes. 
So we plug that in wherever that's going. And then this simply, you just kind of feed them through, which I'm totally down with. And then plug that into your mixer board or whatever you're doing. Get that over to the side. I could angle that over this way. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yes. Oh, I do. Again, you just kind of, you just kind of figure out how you want it positioned, tighten everything up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a win. Now this is an XLR. Mike, I'm, again, I'm not 100% sure which one it is because I have a bunch of them. Of course, I would need a mixer board. Weirdly enough, Miono did send me one of their new little mixers. So I may actually try that in the next few days when I move this upstairs because, listen, listen, any squeak? Nothing. No squeaky. Yeah, I'm pleased with that a lot. I'm pleased with that. Yes? Oh, yeah. You can turn that like that. Get the mic really facing you so it's just... Get that broadcast feel, you know? However you want to get this set up. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like this one. Um, I'm actually uh, super happy. All right, guys. This is the BA90. Um, but they do make a 92. And the 92 is a little different because it does come out kind of more flat here with an elevation upwards. So depending on how you'd like to position your mic, you may like that style better. For me though, I think being able to get this up like this, cause I could get this up almost like out of shot and then just tilt my mic. And I would think if I cropped my shot like here, right? Like this, that I could probably almost get that mic right out of frame and still have it pick up especially if it wasn't using a mic like this and using like a shotgun mic which is what i normally use i think i could get it completely out of frame right above me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things things to try all right guys again this is the Miono b90 i love the stand i do i love it all right guys links down below where you guys can take a look at Miono's store and uh we'll see you guys next video later